Good morning. It is currently 6.15 in the morning and I'm getting my day started because today I'm going to fix my sleep schedule. I already had a pretty good couple hours to the day. I'm not going to lie, I woke up at like 4, but I'm just now picking up the camera at 6 o'clock. We're going to go to Panera Bread, get my favorite breakfast. I'm going to show you guys what that is because I'm a Panera Bread addict. And then I'm probably going to hit the gym. My gym is really cool. I'm going to show you guys. But let me show you guys what I'm doing right now. All right, I cannot sit here and lie for the past hour or so. I've been grinding a bit of, bit of Far Cry 4. Old game, but nonetheless, fun game. Besides that, besides that, now we're kind of getting into the, the business aspect. Bank account leaked. Bank account leaked. No, I'm kidding. This is the LLC that I opened up a few weeks ago. Um, Bank of America account for my clothing brand. Just kind of working out a few cash flow issues that we're having. I mean, we only have $26 in the account, so clearly we're struggling here. But we're trying to allocate most of our budget towards sending out free hoodies to influencers. So we're just kind of figuring out margin-wise how that's going to look. And then besides that, I don't really want to leak anything crazy, but I don't think it's going to show any emails. Um, customer research, not market research, because these are current customers who are either subscribed or not subscribed to the email list. And I'm just kind of seeing if I can establish patterns between the customers, gender, age, location, stuff like that, so I can better suit them when it comes to shipping times and whatnot. So six in the morning, as you can see, well, wow, look at that, crazy. And we're already off to a great start, you know. I just beat half of the Far Cry 4 campaign and doing some cash flow stuff, crunching some numbers early in the morning. How productive is that? But uh, anyways, I'm going to go get Panera because they open in... I think they're open right now. I'm going to place my online order. I'm going to put you guys on to the greatest breakfast order that you could ever possibly get. And then I'm going to take you through my day. Also got to pick out an outfit. Outfit as well for sure. Um, just kind of have some stuff laying here. And it may look like my room is messy and disgusting. But actually, these are fresh out of the dryer. I just kind of dumped them on my floor so I can organize them. Probably going to pick an outfit out of these clothes today. But yeah, not messy. Just... Just fresh out the dryer. Sifting through the ocean of clothing. We'll be able to locate the baby blue, or I guess you could say UNC blue, Bape Air Forces, I think. I don't really know, I just kind of bought them. But these will go very well with the color of my shirt. That's the final fit. That's what we got going on. It's going to be a good day. It's going to be such a fantastic day today. Other wrists. Black. Clothing. Black. That's how you do it right there. Happen to V. Cold start, cold start. Hold on, hold on. Cold start. Ooh. Oh, she is angry. My gosh. I am too. I'm angry until I get my, my brioche bacon and egg sandwich with my caramel latte. Man, I thought there'd be more traffic, but, but nope. There's none. There were no tears in her eyes. And that's got me my babies gotten good at goodbyes. I'm usually not one to wake up very early, but when I do, it just feels so nice. I feel so productive compared to, you know, I mean, obviously waking up late, it's not, it's not as great. Man, what is, you guys see this car in front of me? We got the damn, got the race car Honda Fit before GTA 6. This might, this might be Paul Walker right here. All right, package secured. Phase two of our early morning plan is to find our way into a mysterious empty parking lot and eat our breakfast so that we are properly fueled for our pull day today. I think we found just the location. This seems like a great parking lot to just sit and eat my breakfast in. 
So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. All right, I'm not gonna lie. I 100% should have shown you guys the sandwich, but I, I despawned that thing in like 30 seconds. But I mean, the drink's delicious. Macros on it, probably terrible. Probably 100 grams of sugar, probably 500 calories, but I mean, you know, it's really good. This spot right here, if you know, you know. This is, this is the homeless person hotspot. But unfortunately, it's it's only 6.45 in the morning, so the homeless people have not spawned in yet. They usually spawn in around 8 o'clock, so uh, we'll probably see them on the way back. But for now, spot's free, spot's open. Alright, we barely made it to the gym, so we're here. Today I'm going to be hitting back and by, a little pool day. Nothing too crazy. If you don't already know, I'm not a huge fan of filming in the gym, so it's just going to be kind of like a teleportation. I'm totally fine now. And I'm going to be dead when the camera switches again because I'm going to go pretty hard. It's it's early in the morning. Got to get the day off. Start the day off correctly, so we're going until failure every set. That's optimal. All right. The time is now 8.30 and the workout is done. Ended up doing a bit of a weird day. I said pull, so obviously I did back and by, but I ended up hitting some chest flies as well because who doesn't like chest flies? I'm pretty exhausted. Everything on my back and my upper arm is a little, not, not in pain, but you know that feeling you get when you have a really good pump and it's like, it feels like there's no energy left in that muscle group. That's where I'm at. Fatigue. That's the proper word is fatigued. I feel fatigued uh, in almost my entire upper body. So I'm going to go home, uh, relax, get some work done on the computer. I'll update you guys when I get back. But I'm going to have a chill ride back. And uh, yeah, I'll see you there. See you back at the house. I would say that we just got back to the house, but I'm not going to lie. I thought of something on my way to the house, and I was so excited to get it in the works that I totally forgot to pick up a camera. So it is currently 6 p.m., it's been like eight hours of me sort of working on this idea, but let me break it down. So essentially, if you guys have been watching for a little while now, you will know that I have a pretty complex affiliate system set up when it comes to running my clothing brand. Right now we have over 28 creators um, posting for us and their hoodies are just now starting to get delivered, which means they can actually start filming the content. And I was just kind of, you know, doing my job, which is looking over their accounts and just kind of identifying where improvements can be made, a bunch of back-end stuff, and I had an idea. I thought, well, a lot of these guys are posting recreationally just for fun. A lot of them have never been promoted by a company before, ever, and they have a few viral videos, but they have potential to make even more. They don't know how to post. They just post for fun. I identified many flaws in the way that they're posting, which I don't blame them at all because obviously they're posting for fun. Now that they're posting for a company, my company, the amount of views they get directly correlates to how much money they will be making. They are probably more motivated to post more and post videos of higher quality and you know a little more strategic, but they might not know how to do that. And me, obviously, I've been in e-com for three years. I have some knowledge on how to post and make things go viral. So we collect all of our affiliates' emails, obviously for payment purposes, but also, what if I were to set up a email list, kind of giving them tips and tricks daily or weekly on how to better optimize their videos for virality. So right now I'm currently working on writing some email frameworks on how to, you know, kind of deliver these tips to them. Obviously we only have 30 emails right now, so it won't be very difficult, but I think we're going to, you know, have a little email. It's not email marketing because we're not selling them anything, but just a little email information day by day or week by week still haven't decided on how to better optimize their posts for growth which i think is going to be awesome could set up some meetings and calls in the future with them as well that'd be really cool you know having a meeting with each one once a month to kind of identify you know strengths weaknesses how they can improve how they can better optimize their content and uh, just how they're doing overall with the company so that's exciting that's what i've been working on for a long 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 time now i'm almost done and it's almost time for me to eat my dinner as you can see behind me. I don't know if you guys can't see, but the sun is starting to set. It's getting late. It's around 8, 8.30 p.m. now, and it's about time to start wrapping things up. It is a Friday, so 
I'm probably gonna hang out, relax, watch a movie or two, because fun fact, the weekends are actually my busiest days. So Saturday and Sunday, I have the most to do. Fridays are pretty chill. Fridays are like a, a little break usually, but not a bad day today. I wish I could film more of me doing actual work, but I'm not sure, I'm not sure how to do it. Um, if you have any ideas, leave a comment, let me know. But I, I don't know how to film me working because that took up like nine, 10 hours today, but I just, just didn't film it. Like if you guys want a time lapse, let me know. Just leave, leave a comment. Anything, anything helps because I'm still trying to figure out how to kind of record myself. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for coming with me through my morning and afternoon and evening. And have a great rest of your day. We got a couple awesome videos coming out in the next few days. So just stay tuned for those. And uh, yeah, peace out, boys. I'll see ya.